it's Sunday, already kind of late. Mm. It's Veterans Day here in the United States. This is uh, not affecting me at all. But uh, what's affecting me is the weather and especially the temperature. It's 13 degrees at 1 p.m. and it's not getting warmer. Last night it was 3 degrees, like I mentioned, and the wind changed. It's coming from the north now, so the smoke is uh, from the northern fires are coming here and covering up the sun again. It's bright outside, but the sky is not blue and it's smelling a little bit like wood fire. Yeah. Okay, after I cleaned my room and everything, uh, Leanne is gone to Sheena to bring her some stuff back. After that she has to uh, do something for her work and I can't help her with that. So I decided to go fishing. This time I'm a little bit prepared here. I have my uh, body strap. So I wanted to run the camera during fishing, so I might have footage of catching fish today. But I'm not going for bass, it's 16 degrees Celsius, a little bit cold. Uh, I try to get some trout or steelhead in the river, Fox Grove Park. So let's see how this turns out. Probably not very well, but I'm at the fresh air. Um, okay, let's say I'm in the nature. I'm not in the fresh air because there's no fresh air. Everything is smoky. All the cars have a thin layer of ash and dust on them. But I enjoy fishing and that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, I reached the Fox Grove Park. And let's see if there are some spots open. Usually there is there's not so much going on here right now. It's extremely calm, which is nice. I might should have brought my uh, fly fishing rod as well. Uh, the water level is quite low. Let's have a look at the water itself, how it looks like. Oh. So the water is crystal clear. Look how beautiful it is here. There's a little white bird over there. It's calm. And I love it. Okay, I just I have something, but it's very small. I think it's a small trout. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a bass. A little tiny bass. Okay, I just release him. The easy way. Tiny bass. I just saw him jumping over there. Let's get another try over there. Uh, not this time. I just cast it over there on the other side and lost one of my favorite lures. So I try to get over the bridge to the other side and get my lure back and then fish on the other side. Let's see if I can go and get there. Probably take a while. Ah, so annoying. Okay, I'll probably never do this again. But what are you gonna do uh, for your favorite lure, huh? Damn it! I have to go back before it's dark. Eh? It's gonna get me killed otherwise. I made it to the other side. So I hope I can find my lure now. Other than, if not uh, risking my life was for nothing. Let's see, it must be here somewhere. In one of those trees. Oh, here, yeah, fish everywhere, damn it. So where's my lure? 
Oh, he has bass everywhere in the water. And I can't fish for now. I want my lure. Let's see where it is. Must be somewhere in these bushes here. Ah, there it is. Completely tangled up here. Ah, God. No, that's not my lure. Where is it? No, that's not it. Must be in one of those trees here. But no, that's not it. Ouch. It's getting dark. It's after uh, almost sunset. Uh, you can't see the sun very good because of the dust. So this park is officially closing at sunset. And I don't want to get stuck in here, so I have to leave soon, but I want to get to one more fishing spot here. Because I caught trout and bass last time I went here, but the water level was way higher. But it looks like, it just looks like so amazing here. So I have to at least make one or two casts here before I leave. It would be a waste otherwise. And I, no, that, that definitely bass and trout here, and uh, if I'm lucky, even steelhead. So they're probably more over there in the deeper water, but you never know. Didn't get any bite on the other side. I wasn't able to get my lure back. Had to. Uh, yeah, I put my life in danger before that. It's kind of annoying. I'll be back soon here. It looks really good. What the, what the heck? So, yeah. I definitely fish here. But I can't catch them. I don't know what's wrong. They caught on this lure. Caught fish before. Ah, I got one. Fuck! I lost it. I wasn't expecting a bite. Oh, yeah, there's definitely fish chasing this lure. They're very careful. No, oh, maybe it's just. just Damn plants. You tricked me again. Oh, no, there's fish. Damn. I can't believe it that I'm losing them. Such a bad angler. Ah, it was a triple hook, now it's a dual hook. Broke one off. Maybe this is a problem. Now I got one. Really? No, it's just a freaking leaf. Just tricking me again and again. Yeah, that's it for today. I have to leave this beautiful area where you can really fish very good. And there's definitely fish, but I wasn't able to do it. So yeah, I lost one lure. And it's usually not a big deal to lose a lure. But this one I bought in Germany. So there's no easy replacement. And it's a five euro lure. You know, it's always sad to throw money away. And I risked my life twice to get it back and I didn't find it even if I knew the bush where it was supposed to stuck in or it must have been somewhere but I wasn't able to find it that's really annoying it's getting cold it's past sunset I hope I get I hope I get out of this park now because there's a gate 
they usually close it. I was stuck once before in the United States in a park and I had to call 911 and the sheriff had to get out uh, and open the gate for me. It was kind of embarrassing, not a big deal at this point, but you never know uh, in which mood the sheriff is on Veterans Day having to work and stuff, so better hurry up and uh, more luck next time, I hope. Zurück am Auto, langsam dunkel und ja, ab nach Hause jetzt. Lecker essen und dann muss ich noch was machen, irgendwas Sinnvolles. Angeln ist zwar schön und entspannend, heute war es nicht so entspannt, aber ähm, ist zwar schön, aber nicht unbedingt förderlich fürs Weiterkommen hier, jobmäßig, lebenmäßig oder was weiß ich. Aber es war Veterans Day, ich musste raus an die frische Luft, weil Katzen hier an diesem Park. Das war die Straße, wo ich lang gelaufen bin, was nicht so schlau war. Und auf dem Weg über die Brücke, auf der anderen Seite, ich weiß nicht, ob man das auf dem Video auch schon sehen konnte, waren zwei Kreuze aufgestellt. Ich glaube, da war schon mal jemand so dämlich und ist über die Brücke gelaufen und ist gestorben. Was mir heute zum Glück nicht passiert ist. Aber äh, das werde ich auf jeden Fall nicht nochmal machen. Das war ziemlich dämlich. Aber ich wollte mein Lur zurück. Ja, und ich weiß nicht, ob ich das mitbekommen habe. I have no idea where she is but it's freezing in here so I just start cooking mm. because I'm hungry didn't have anything today so yeah get some meat and some Brussels sprouts into the pan yeah that's what's gonna happen almost seven dinner is ready and I had to cook again. So uh, I think I have to discuss the, what's going on here. Who has to do what here in China? What? I have a work meeting at 7.30. Sorry. She has a work meeting. Sure. <laughs> so it's more or less the same sauce uh, as yesterday. But yesterday there were uh, mushrooms, champignons. And um, mm, it will taste way better. This is for the work meeting, though. This is for the work meeting. Yeah. Done with dinner. It's 20 past 6. Lien has to leave. And I just check the temperature outside. It's 8 degrees so it's 9 p.m. and it's 6 degrees outside and um, the only heating source is some kind of candle oven four candles 
aluminium aluminium lid on top. And this is supposed to uh, be some kind of heat source. It's only heating at 10 degrees Fahrenheit in a small room. This is probably too big for that. So I'm guessing maximum benefit would be two to five degrees Fahrenheit warmer. I don't know what that is. I Meaning that's probably one or two degrees yeah. Celsius. And the windows are not tight, so it's uh, probably not doing anything. <laughs> just it feels good. Yeah. It feels good if you're getting yeah. very, very close to it. 1 p.m. Just finished watching a movie. Um, Leanne put um, three of those candle heaters in our bedroom. Uh, it's kind of a little bit warmer there, but um, smelling bad as well. So, uh, so I was in the whirlpool to warm up. I was just freezing the entire time. And yeah, I don't know why, but I have evil pain ah, in my and ankle. I don't know why. Oh, I put some pain lotion on it already, but it doesn't work and it's getting worse. Let's see how that is and then. Hope tomorrow it's over. Would be bad if not. Good night. Bedtime. So the pain is really so bad that I wasn't able even to brush my teeth. That's a bummer. Um, and there's a bad uh, air warning out for this region, including Modesto, close to 3% carbon monoxide, and it smells really bad. And there's dust stuff in the air. Mm, clogs your nose as well, a little bit. And yeah, I hope the wind will change from the north wind to an east wind again, so it's blowing out the ocean like the days before but right now it's blowing right into our direction from the northern california fires and they're really bad because the wind picked up everywhere especially in the south i just heard that thomas gottschalk lost his house there in malibu hmm.